In this video, we're going to have a look at setting up our drawing views ready to put on our drawing sheets. So I'm going to go through the views in the project browser, double click and just have a little look at getting them to what I want. So click on each view individually. Now, first thing I do is check the scale and the detail level. So 1 to 50 and detail level fine is what I want for this one. I'm then going to scroll down in the properties. And where we've got extents, I'm going to say crop view and crop region. And then it brings up this big box. So this is showing us the extent of the view. So I'm going to click on that box and use these blue dots to just tuck it in around the area that I actually want it to show. OK, then I click off it, go back here, keep the crop view ticked, but get rid of the crop region visible. And that will just tidy up the view. So then I go to the first floor. And I'm going to do the same. So click on crop there. OK, scale, detail level, they're fine. Deselect the region visible. OK, I'll go to the site. Now, I'm not going to actually show the site on this one, but the site, you may want to change the scale on that one to 1 to 100. Um, again, you would just check this. Now, I haven't done the rear garden on this one, but that's something you would do if it was important to be shown. OK, so let's now have a look at our 3D view. So on this one, I do want the realistic style. Um, so you can just play around with the angle and make sure you get it how you want it. OK. So I'm going to go for something like that. So again, crop view, crop region, zoom out. So this box is showing the area again that will be visible. Just going to tuck that in. So it's important you don't play around with the view on this one and rotate it after you've done this. Now, elevations. OK, so elevations do have a bit of work because on an elevation, you wouldn't want to see what's below ground. Therefore, we need to do a bit of covering up. So I'm going to go to the annotate tab and we have this region command. So I'm going to use the masking region. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I want this set at ground level. And just draw a box down by there. Big tick. So that will then hide everything that's underneath it. Like so. Now, this section arrow, I just click on that and use the blue dot just to bring it up and bring that down to there. But notice how I've left the dashed lines showing the extent of the view unchanged. So it won't actually change the section itself. It's just changing the position of the line on this view only. And then once we've done that, I can then do crop view and crop region again. Now, on here, I just want to show the house. So I'm tucking it in Oop, a bit too far. And I really want to try and get rid of the writing where it says about the foundation as well. Don't really want that visible. For the foundation. So that will give me that view. Deselect the region. 
and then repeat that process with each of the four elevations. I think you're probably getting the idea now. Just keep on doing this until you've done all of them, and they'll look something like this. So then we've got sections. So what do we do with sections? Well, again, check your scale, check your detail level. OK, now you'll notice these have already got the crop view, crop region visible. So again, I'm just going to click on that and just bring that down a bit closer to the actual building. On this example, I do want to keep the writing. I'm just going to bring that over there and just bring this one up here a little bit. There. Right, and then I am going to get rid of the box around the section. So again, scale, detail, level, check the position of your section arrows, make sure you're happy with them. Okay, and once you've gone through all of your drawing views, they are then ready to position on drawing sheets, which will be in our next video.